from Dantix here. Very quick video about the deluxe editions of Warland 3 and the Promethea player profile. So let's not waste any time and jump right into it. First up is the rewards for strong forking some extra cash out. So you get access to this cool retro pack. No matter the class you pick, you'll be getting skins that take you back. Though frankly, I don't see anything too appealing here. Then we have the retro weapon skins and like the character skins, it's just a coat of red and black paint. Then the echo device follows suit. Cool, but not game selling cool. Unlike the next pack, the Neon Cosmetic Pack. Like the Retro Pack, there's a skin for each character, but unlike the Retro Pack, they're actually pretty cool and they glow. Notice that Flack has a human skeleton. Intentional? Well, who knows, but he is a robot. Oh, it's a robot. Also, you get uh, a weapon trinket you can attach to your favorite gun and a Neon Skull skin for your Echo device. Then we have the gearbox skins for your weapons. You can change your weapons color schemes to gray with a touch of green. You also get the gearbox logo to attach to any of your weapons. Gearbox, I love you, but I don't think this is gonna move copies of your deluxe edition either. You can't force brand ambassadors into existence. So, or, or can you? Let me know in the comments. Finally, and what I think is the coolest, you get access to toy guns that have unique effects. If these toy guns are a force to be reckoned with, is yet to be seen, but my assumption is they'll do silly things like shoot streams of water. Lethal was the word used on Borlands.com, so deadly, deadly streams of water. The fact that one of these pistols and SMGs has Hyper Hydrate of 5000 on it gives me hope. So does the word girth on the other. <laughs> also note, you get a grenade mod that has some kind of toy effect too. I'm going to throw it out there and say that it's going to be a water balloon grenade. It would make the most sense. You also get a toy weapon attachment to attach to your favorite weapon. So toy weapon on a toy weapon, toy weapon inception. Yeah. Well, with the Super Deluxe Edition, you also get access to the Season Pass, which includes a bonus Butt Stallion pack. The Diamond Pony will be making another appearance in the series. In what way, I'm not sure, but it will be besides the Weapon Attachment and Rocket Launcher and Pistol shown here. You'll also get access to the four planned DLCs for the game. Next up is a little more information on the planet Promethea, which we've seen extensively already, especially on this channel. However, we know there'll be four major planets to visit as outlined here. One of them being Pandora, which we've already seen in its player profile. So Promethea, home to the Atlas Corporation headquarters. Promethea is a metropolitan world covered in futuristic towers of chrome and glass. A recent siege by Malawan has turned the urban environment into a war zone. The mechanized infantry patrols the streets. Rodent insect hybrids known as ratchets infect the sewers and back alleys, and the children of the vault are seizing the opportunity to recruit displaced and disgruntled citizens. Atlas CEO Reese Strongfork is getting desperate. Now, on the right here, we see the same image used for the Pandora profile. My assumption back then was Pandora only had three major points of interest, but now seeing the Promethea one, and knowing that Promethea has a lot more than three points of interest, has me thinking this was a very basic example and is in no way representative of what to expect. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this kind of content, please remember to blah, 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 you know the drill. But I'm really excited because I know we'll be getting more on flack very soon. So, love you all.